Hi guys, hope you're doing well. We've got a new video here, and it's a breath of fresh air. It's the video of a woman, more precisely a married woman explaining why men are getting their passport and going overseas. She talks about the matter in the context of love and relationships. So, drop a like, click on the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's get right down to business. Anyone who has dealt with women from other cultures, because you also hear some black women say, yeah, well, these black men um, only want these women from other cultures because they want a doormat and they want to just control somebody and they want somebody to just be blindly submissive to them and, you know, whatever negative thing that they can say. <clears throat> um, but before I get into my opinion about black men going overseas, there was a time when it was a large um, mass of white men who were going over to particularly Asian countries to get a wife. And again, you're looking at years ago when I was seeing this and not to be shady or anything, but when I saw some of these men who were going overseas to get a wife, you can kind of understand why they had to, because if you saw how they how they looked, if you saw um, their ages and stuff, it's a good chance that they did not stand a chance in America for the type of woman that they want. At least, you know, if they were going overseas, you know, they had a chance of getting an exotic looking woman with their, you know, based on how they looked. You know, they weren't going to get the dime pieces and the, the tins here in America, particularly those women would require you know, a man of a certain caliber as far as his finances, as far as his physical appearance and stuff like that. So you're looking at 10 years ago, or not 10 years ago, but years ago. Yep. On that part, she's definitely right. 80% of the word is average in a specific domain. But in the West, women have been intoxicated to think that they are the best thing to ever happen to the universe. An average looking woman in the West thinks that she deserves the best of the best, and all that is required from her is a pulse. Don't get me wrong, we should all strive for the best, but we should also be aware of what we have to offer. You know what they say, know what you can afford before you know what you can ask. The majority of women in the West only care about what they can ask and they don't give a rat's ass about what the other party wants. As a matter of fact, I had answered on uh, one of the forums that I like to, you know, answer questions on. And I'm assuming it was a white woman, but she asked the question, why are so many white men going overseas to get wives? Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, been kind of in a hurry today. But why are these men going overseas to get wives? What do those women overseas have that we don't have here in America? Now, I don't remember verbatim what I said, <clears throat> but I said something to the tune of, the women overseas still have traditional mindsets. They're still pretty much raised to be wives. They want to be wives. There's really nothing standing in the way between them and um, wife duties, cooking, cleaning, tending to the house, rearing children, stuff like that. And let's not forget to mention respectful and friendly. Even when they don't know you, they have that humility and charitable demeanor. Whereas here in America, you're looking at a lot of superficial type things that tends to get in the way of a woman wanting to be a wife, let's be honest. And something that I wanted to say about women of other cultures, you know, you have this, um, this pre, some women have this preconceived notion that those women are just doormats and pushovers and stuff like that. That's what a lot of black women will say is the reason why uh, some of these black men are wanting to go overseas. And so I'm going to go back to the comment that I was about to make. Some of y'all have never dealt with women of other cultures, apparently, you know, either in your workplace and you've been to their house, you've been friends with them or whatever. Those women will get with you. You understand? Oh. Damn straight. 
Women in Asia are no pushover. Yeah. They are soft with men because that what men respond to when dealing with women, because that's how they are raised, and because, common sense. But, at the end of the day, they are still women, and most of them have been taught how to throw down from a very young age, especially in countries like, Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia. Most Western women think that because the US can fold those countries in a war, they think that the people over there are weak and can't defend themselves. And based on how things are going in the West, I can say with confidence that the woke Western man will definitely get a cosmic beating from any average man from any part of the world. Most of them are not little, timid little, yes, blah, blah, blah. They will tell you about yourself. I'm talking about the husband. They will tell that husband about himself. But here's the difference. As uh, my friend who said that she would send her son you know, she would go back to her country to get her husband. She told me, and I wasn't married at this time, but she knew my mouth. And she told me, you know, if you need to talk to your husband, you know, about an issue or whatever, she said, you pull him aside in private. And so those women overseas, they got some mouths on them too. They just pick their battles. Basically, what she's saying is, women overseas are more mature. But see, it's a little bit more than just picking their battles. There are also other positives, that's not the word that I want to use, but there are also other positives that will make a man want to pursue some of those women overseas. And, you know, again, one of those reasons would be because you know, they do know their role. They do know, um, you know, that their role is to be a help meet or a help mate to a husband, not necessarily to be his equal or to go toe to toe with him like a sparring partner, which that's what a lot of American women do. And the moment you treat them based on the way they behave, they flip and show how much hypocrisy flows in their veins. Women in the West want the benefits of both modernism and traditionalism, but refuse to bear the responsibilities of either. And so in regards to some of the black men who want to go overseas for a spouse, um, you know, I would say this to anybody, you know, just vet properly, be careful, you know, because you know, I don't want to necessarily put it out there, but at some point, you know, you, it could turn into green card scams and stuff like that. But that isn't what this is about. I'm sure those men, I'm hoping, are savvy enough and, and use enough discernment to know, you know, what to look for so they don't be duped or whatever. This is a respectable woman. I don't know who she is, but how she talks just speaks respect. It is good to know that there are still women out there who trust men judgment and give men the benefit of the doubt. So, my bottom line, for a man that wants a wife, an actual wife in every sense of the word, the traditional minded wife, if he has to go overseas or out of his um, comfort zone or out of his uh, particular area to achieve that, I see absolutely nothing wrong with that. Because we have to be serious, um, we have to be um, honest as women in this country for the past 30, 40 plus years, um, many American women have been sold the idea that they don't need a man, they don't want a man, they're independent. Uh, it's not their job to um, rear their house, you know, keep it clean or cook or for a man, he's grown. I don't have to do all of that. You know, what's he going to do for me? She said it all. There is practically nothing else to add. Topic for another time. So, um, you know, Providing that is for genuine companionship 
an actual wife or whatever, I don't see anything wrong with those men wanting to do that. And see, and here's, I'm gonna go off on a, a slight tangent. You have a lot of women who cannot for the life of them figure out why men are shying away from American women. Oh no, nope. Women know exactly what's up. Women are perfectly aware of the situation. They know why men are going overseas. They just don't care. They want men to accept them the way they are. Women in the West don't want to conduct themselves in a respectable manner towards men because most of them don't give a ish about men. Western women only care about what men can do for them. Women know what's up. They just don't care about men as human beings. Most of them see men as a mean to an end. And one of the things is, you know, when you hear, you know, women talking about how independent they are and how, you know, their, their education or whatever, um, you know, should be enough to make them look, um, you know, for a man to look at or whatever, men are telling women, it's not about your education. If you have an ed education, great, but it's just innately in man, I don't know if I said that right, to want to protect and provide for a woman that is his. Does not mean she is his property. Hmm, she kinda is. I lean more with Andrew Tate on this one. If you expect me to protect you and be responsible for you, you are my property. For those who sit at the back, you don't treat a Ferrari the same way you treat a mop. But there are more than 3 billion men on this planet. If she is not up for it, she can leave. Or his chattel or his slave. This is something that so many American women who have fallen under the feminist um, ideology and their whatever, you have to consider the source when it comes to the feminist ideology. And I've said this before, a lot of those women don't like men. A lot of those women want to be men. A lot of those women are lesbians. So why would you take in what they have to say about how it is to be a woman, a wife for a husband? They're not gonna tell you, you know, how to be soft and inviting and having a peaceful home and stuff like that. So the men that want that, they're going somewhere else to get it. And they're being clowned about it. You just want a weak woman. You can't handle no strong woman like me. And then, but you know what? That's gonna keep you single. And something else that I don't understand with a lot of these women who say they want a husband or, or, or and stuff like that, you're going to other single women for advice and counsel. Well. That is because the movement of strong and independent women who need no men is making women stupid. You don't ask a fish how to catch a fish. And those women can be in their 40s and 50s and never got a husband, and that's who you're going to for advice. And then you're wondering, why am I still single? Men are telling you what they want. You have married women like me, you know, offering advice about what's expected of a wife. But then y'all would go right over to those single women, never marry, independent, strong women who are telling y'all, no, nah, that, see, that's not what men want. What they want is, and that, that's not how that works. So I don't know how far off on a tangent I went. Well, you didn't go that far, except minor disagreements. Everything said was on point. But as for me, hope is not a plan. As long as the laws in the West are still what they are, nothing is going to change. It is not forcibly the woman, but it's the environment. Don't get me wrong, women have the big piece of the blame, but we also must call out the simps who enable female bad behaviors. That will be all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and a sub would be awesome. Catch you on the next one, and peace.